over the past a few days uh, kuna kuna lot of cases zenye fraud za online zinafanyika uh, mtu ana complain online vile mpesa yake alipata imesafishwa mwingine anasema oh alienda kuangalia bank balance yake apata manze do zote zimeenda now this is an issue yenye in a fire address you and today nimekuja kuambia your banking apps and mpesa apps might be the cause of you losing your money and in these cases atuongelee only mpesa app na bank apps tunaongelea hadi any apps you are using for transaction to say from paypal bitcoin and the rest now in this video nataka nieleze and the safest ways za kutumia easy uh, transactions app to avoid losing your money in the process and ni circumstance gani yenye unapatanga mtu like ime lead to him or her losing their money through simple nini operations yenye watu wana ignore hapa nje the first thing mobile apps and other transactional apps manze are prone to hacking that is what you need to know under what circumstances zina leading mtu anapata like a eh, transaction app yake manze ilikuwa messed up amepata maybe do zake zimesafishwa ama in the process aka lose everything now first of all kuna public connections what do i mean by public connections now a public connection inaweza kuwa kitu kama bluetooth wifi ama hotspots Now uh, for example you're just linking your bluetooth uh, your phone's bluetooth to any device ama any other person's phone then in establish a certain connection through that you can be hacked kuna blue jacking blue snuffing and other bluetooth hacking methods zenye watu wanakuwa hacked into so mtu anaweza tengeneza copy ya simu yako a copy all data in your device through simple bluetooth linking now another thing kuna public wifi public wifi so unafika place unapata kuna free wifi you just log in you don't know how many people are using that connection in the midst of these people unaweza pata kuna maybe a hacker an act kama middleman so ana intercept connection yako na ile wifi now so wako na apps installed so through that anaweza get access to your apps maybe una operate umekata biometric sama nini uki unlock hivi anaona details zako zote za banking app so anaweza create a copy of your app of your mobile app yenye uko nao kwa simu then through that unasafishwa anaona di password zako vile una operate another thing is hotspots hotspots can get you in deep trouble So avoid using anyone's hotspot. Mtu anakuja hapa na kuambia hey bro naweza kwa hotspot, uangalie kitu online ama naweza tumia hotspot yako. Through this kuna connection imekuwa established. So if this person ni mtu expert in the sector of computer and stuff, then there's a very high chance that anaweza hack into your banking app yenye ko ndani ya simu yako or Mpesa app any transactional app akusafishe pesa zako so avoid kutumia hotspot za just anyone now that is for public connections now another thing that uh, people mess around with is general links so links can be sent to you through email whatsapp facebook Instagram or even SMS. Now uh, with these links unaambiwa maybe yo oh, siji kuna job application. Now most of these people ni scammers. At yo siji kuna job you'll be earning siji 20,000 to 30,000 per week. You get so excited unaambiwa umequalify. We mwenyewe unajua vizuri hakuna job uliko umeapply. And when a career yako you just tap on that link. Inaende na kuramba. Now these are some phishing scams. Ni tuanga phishing scams. You just tap on a random link then ukienda kwa hiyo site yao eh wana get your data in install malware kwa simu yako when establish a link mtu anaweza develop nini another system yenye inatoa copy exact ya files ziko ndani ya simu yako so through that i access all your documents unapata app yako ili hakiwa pesa zimeenda password imebadilishwa and you are doomed now uh, general links i've talked about now another thing is unsecure websites Unsecure websites ni address to know if a website is secure or not. One thing you should always keep in mind is that HTTP means that that website is not encrypting your data. So kuna kwanga na HTTP na HTTPS. So HTTP doesn't encrypt your data. It only submits your data in simple text. But HTTPS yenye iko na S mwisho ina encode your data yani in i encrypt in the in the sense that your data will only be submitted to the site you are communicating to so i data ko easy leak http bila s and secure website https that is a safe website so anytime unaingia website 
make sure una confirm if there is https bila s toka mbio kinaweza kuramba now uh, this unsecure website also unapata mseo unaingia kwa site you just submitting your details in that site maybe unajaribu ku test out using your official details same details zenye umetumia kwa maybe apps zako your transactional apps easy details mtu akiwa nazo then apata access to your uh, your nini your phone juu umeingia kwa site yake again copy through installing malware mtu anaweza kuhakizi ili So make sure you observe the websites you are using for your own security. Don't just log in your details in any website and make sure you are using strong passwords now that is a different story. So mtu anatumia weak passwords kwa hizi transactional apps zake and this is the same password you are using all over in every other site. So make a password maybe date of birth ama your high school admission numbers like most of us do. So unapata like inakuwa easy for you to be hacked. Na hizi passwords pia at the same time umezisave kwa simu. Then unapata ukioperate through these public connections mtu anapata access to your passwords all your transactional app passwords then kinakuramba baadaye now uh, another thing is random updates now what do i mean by random updates so kuna ile time unoperate like your uh, mobile phone or something then unaona e app yako mpesa bank app or any other app paypal nini inakwambia oh update inatokea hapo kwa screen a pop up now This pop up avoid updating your app through that usifinya update na hapo some of these updates ni malware zimekuja so mtu anataka ufinye hiyo link then uta download hizo hizo files kwa simu yako uki download hizi files zina generate a copy of your device so and is access your files so don't update randomly through the pop up screen ingia play store in case una feel kuna update inahitajika ikikwambia then search for the specific app Hmm? confirm kama inahitaji update ukiona hapo ija kwambia inahitaji update then just ignore your update ilikuja hapo juu confirm kwa play store kwanza at all times at any given time now we have uh, last but not least we have strange apps strange apps uh, unapata sudden apps zimeapi hapo kwa simu yako like au uh, unashindwa hiyo app imetoka wapi now easy apps in as establish link ya phone yako zipata access to your transactional apps So zinaingianga kwa simu uje install maybe uli install kibati mbao kwa kwa site fulani zikaingia ama ni zile adverts zinakujanga then ukata by mistake so ikaingia kwa simu yako so ukiona hizo strange apps make sure you uninstall them as soon as possible and while doing that after doing so make sure you change your passwords so hizo strange apps zinaweza ku get in deep trouble so somebody can easily manage to access your device then kuna loan apps don't just download any loan apps that you might test the more you put in your details the more your security is being compromised then kuna stray apps what do i mean by stray apps most of you mna download third party apps because of the generous features mna pewa hapo hivyo the exciting features but what you don't know is that not all of these third party app developers ni watu wenye unaweza trust some of them are just here online manze ku scam wase ku hack into their accounts and everything so unapata wao download a stray app app yenye iko play store for example watu wanatumia nga hizi modded versions of whatsapp ni legal versions unapata msana anatumia sijui gb whatsapp fm whatsapp yo whatsapp rc whatsapp tm whatsapp and whatsapp all those other versions of whatsapp as long as iko play store then that is an illegal version of whatsapp so mna download stray apps then unaanza cooperate Ujui kama yapi imekuwa verified which means that it may not be secure not necessarily that it can secure it may not be secure there's a higher chance so stray apps zina develop kwa simu yako zinaanza ku install malware in your phone your device gets tampered with your security is compromised all your passwords are leaked through these apps so avoid these stray apps third party apps na any loan apps just logging in your details if you do all this then I believe you'll be safe. There's a very low chance yenye utapata like eh, apps zako za Mpesa bank app ama any other PayPal nini transactional app imekuwa tampered with. So just stay safe. Okay, observe this video then you'll realize you'll be one of the safest person online. Now, uh, that being said, for more cool videos and more informative content, just make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you. Till next time wadao. Jinani R2 Junior. Peace watu wangu.